what's up guys welcome to another video and today we're going to be relocating the power and steering reservoir we're going to be getting rid of the reservoir well not getting rid of it we're just going to uh relocate it ice cream man's around you know it's time for ice cream so this is very simple you're not going to need a lot of things to do this the only thing that you're going to need is a three inch a half an inch adapter for this hose right here uh, it's a two-way adapter you know it's half an inch and about uh, one feet of I mean one foot of uh, hose that's all you wanna need you don't need to buy anything else but just a half an inch adapter a two-way adapter that looks just like I'm, I'm gonna show it to you and for the hoses you don't really need anything because you can use pretty much the same hoses from the reservoir and that's pretty much all you're gonna need so now first things first you're gonna get rid of this uh, bowl right here this is actually very very easy this this is not hard to do then just get uh, your uh, pliers and get this clamp out of the way so we can move the reservoir okay once you this uh, once you take that clamp uh, off now the next step you know you still have your holes here like i told this is the way i bought the car but i'm pretty sure you know you have enough of these holes you know to uh do this little upgrade or to clean your engine bay so this is what i what i was talking about the right adapter that you need is a half an inch so this hose is half an inch so you you only need this piece of hose right here once you move once you take this out the way then you're gonna come down here and I'm going to show you where you're gonna put it so this hole right here this is where you're going to place this like that that way nothing's gonna be in the way and then you're gonna grab your holes I hope you're gonna be able to see this uh, yeah so right here is where you're gonna put your reservoir that way nothing's gonna be in the way this is your hose the one that's coming from the pump so you wanna cut it and then you wanna place it right here that way it's gonna be away from everything so just make sure it's not too tight it's about right here you're just gonna cut the excess of the hose and then your other hose which is this one right here let me get it Uh, this is basically what I'm talking about uh, I hope you're able to see that I'm grabbing uh, no I don't think you are seeing that so basically the only thing that I did is I only brought the hose down this right here I'm gonna bring it down here so then I'm going to connect this hose here that hose is gonna go with that one right there and then that's gonna give me you know if, if no hose you know just to put the the reservoir down here so let me just do this and then i just show you you know how i did it but i'm pretty sure you have an idea by now hey okay, guys so this is what i what i was talking about as you can see i use the same hose coming from the pump which is this one right here all the way here this is just to show you, you know how you can uh, place the reservoir now the other holes like I told you a, a foot of a uh, half an inch holes and one of those ad one way adapters is gonna work just fine you have the holes here I just gotta put the clamp but as you can see this is this looks very simple 
it's not that hard and that way you see that one is not going to be touching anything the bumper is going to go in right it's not going to be touching any of the pulleys because that's what i only use you know uh less than one foot uh less than one foot of this hose so remember it's half an inch then i secure this hose with a zip tie here and this is not going to be like that but it, as you can see this is not going anywhere even if this jumps oh yeah if it jumps it's going it's going somewhere <laughs> okay but i'm not going to leave it like that guys uh i'm actually going to secure this good Boy, well, if it moves, I'm gonna use uh, kind of, you know, think of to put a bracket here or something. But you have an idea now on how, you know, to relocate your uh, power and steering reservoir. So it's, it's not that hard. Uh, just go to Home Depot, buy one of those half inch adapters, uh, go to your auto parts, you know, whatever store you like and just by half an inch holes as you can see your engine is going to look much cleaner better then maybe in the next video i'm going to be deleting the uh the coolant tank and then i'm just going to be cleaning more hoses like this i still gotta hide it uh i'm gonna go with better mounts so i don't know i might paint it white this white uh manifold white and well that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you enjoy it and i hope uh this kind of give you an idea you know what you have to do if you're gonna be uh relocating your uh, power and steering reservoir then you know uh well that's how it looks there that right there but you see you can actually place it you know like more to the uh, uh more to the front, uh, more to the back, whatever you want. So, but you have the idea now. Now, before you even put the uh, your bracket or whatever you do to hold the reservoir, make sure you fill it up, run the car, uh, put a little bit more uh, fluid, and then, you know, just, that's pretty much it. You see, to me, this is something cool, something I can show you and something that's gonna make you uh, engine bay looks better so that's pretty much it i hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video